All right, the Senators take on the Rangers, 7 o'clock Eastern puck drop on Friday, December 2nd, 2022. The Rangers are minus 190, total 6.5. I'm 6-0, 6-0, 6-0 in my last six extra daily bets on my website. And I'll include a link for that play in the description section below. Igor Shesterkin's expected in the net for New York. Cam Talbot for Ottawa. And despite Cam's record here this year, he's really done a solid job between the pipes. He's got a 257 goals against average and a 918 save percentage. Meanwhile, as a team, the Senators got the W in two out of their last three outings. They allowed only two goals per contest on average during that short span. When it comes to cashing in on the puck line, they're covering in 60% of their road games. Brady Kachuk's the leading uh, person in points here with 25 of them. He's facing a Ranger club who dropped three out of their last four. And they have a tough time getting the W at Madison Square Garden. These guys got the W in just four out of 12 contests in their own building. They also cashed in on the puck line in just 25% of those home games. Now, the Rangers' biggest problem at home is their offensive production. These guys are in the bottom five in points per contest in their own arena. Now, total-wise, the Rangers are 63% to the under for the whole year. Meanwhile, Ottawa went 70% to the under in their travels. I'm going to lean toward Ottawa plus one and a half, under six and a half goals. And with that, guys, just want to take a quick time out real quick and welcome you to the video here today for Friday, December 2nd, 2022. My name is Brock Page, and I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. I also sell my personal sports bets on patreon.com slash Brock Page. Once again, guys, I'm 6-0, 6-0, 6-0, 6-0 in my last six extra daily bets on that site. And just remember, guys, if you sign up for that package, you're going to get access to that membership for the next 30 days. And as an added bonus, I'm also going to include, uh, what am I including here? Uh, my daily best play for you, absolutely free. That daily best play will be included with your purchase. And, uh, oh, yeah. The extra daily bet, it costs just $2.99 for 30 days of service. And I'll tell you this much, uh, if you ask me, that's a no-brainer. And if you've been supporting me here on YouTube, you might as well uh, sign up and see who I'm actually betting on personally. Just a reminder here, guys, if you find yourself enjoying this video here today, Please don't forget to like and subscribe, like and subscribe, like and subscribe next game. Predators Islanders, 7.30 p.m. East. The Isles are minus 165, totals five and a half. Ilya Sorokin for New York, Kevin Lankinen for Nashville. Despite some uh, pretty good numbers, Lankinen comes into today's start with a losing record. And no real surprise here, guys. The Preds have given up a ridiculous amount of goals on the road this year. They're in the bottom three in goals allowed per contest away from home. They're also facing an Islanders team who's in the top ten in home scoring. Brock Nelson, he has a team best 11 goals. He's also second on the team in points with 23. And speaking of points, Matty Barzell, he has a club high 26 points on the season. He's actually third in the league in assists. Now, offense aside, uh, it's this Islander defense that's really the strength of this franchise. Uh, it's been that way for the last couple of seasons. Uh, these guys are amongst the league leaders in fewest goals allowed. Ilya Sorokin's also got double-digit wins on the season with a save percentage of 933. Now, injury-wise, seven out of these teams' last 10 meetings did get over the number. So if you're into historical trends, certainly want to think about that one there. Meanwhile, Nashville is 70% to the over in all of their road games. I'm going to lean toward the New York Islanders, minus 165, over 5.5. And, and with that, guys, we're going to jump into our next and final matchup for the video. It is going to be Blue Jackets at the Jets, 8 o'clock Eastern puck drop. Winnipeg's the $2 favorite, total six and a half. David Riddick for Winnipeg, Eunice Corpusalo for Columbus. Now, Corpsey's had a, uh, a real bad start to the season. He's got a goals against average above 3.7, 
along with an 899 save percentage. And no real shock here, guys. The Blue Jackets are allowing more shots, uh, more shots on goal on the road than any other team in hockey. They're facing a Winnipeg team who certainly gets uh, a lot of pucks on net themselves. They're in the top 10 in offensive shots on goal at home. Mark Shifley has a dozen goals on the year. Meanwhile, Josh Morrissey's a plus eight, and he leads the team in points. Now, injury-wise, Stanley and Appleton are still out. Meanwhile, for Columbus, Voracek and Blankenberg, they're still uh, uh, out as well. Line is questionable. When it comes to the total, Winnipeg's 9-1 to the under in the Canada Life Center. Uh, they're also 71% to the under for the entire season at any location. I'm going to lean toward Winnipeg minus 1.5, under 6.5 goals. And with that, guys, we're going to jump into our quick pick recap. I like Ottawa plus 1.5, under 6.5 goals. Give me the Islanders minus 165, over 5.5. I'm 6-0, 6-0, 6-0 in my last six extra daily bets on my website. Give me Winnipeg minus one and a half, under six and a half goals. And with that, guys, that's going to do it for me. Like I said in my earlier video, obviously a little bit change of scenery here. Um, a bunch of uh, shenanigans at the household today. Uh, for some reason, I woke up and uh, the garage door opener is opening and closing on its own. It's being controlled by a ghost. But uh, no, obviously it's a problem. I don't know if it's a short circuit. Uh, something is obviously wrong with the garage door. Um, and as it continues to go up and down on its own today, uh, it ended up short circuiting uh, a whole section worth of uh, electrical outlets in my basement. So I have an entire wall full of electrical outlets uh, that are rendered completely useless. And unfortunately, uh, two very important things are connected to that wall. One is the TV, which I use as the background for my videos. And number two is uh, my well water service, my uh, purifier. So uh, we got that hooked up now to uh, an outlet that actually does work, but uh, we're all fucked up right now. Uh, ever since I bought this house, nothing but problems. So like I said, uh, if you guys are interested in buying a house, don't. It's the worst thing money could buy. So anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Got to thank you for joining me. I, I, I tell you what, I've been, a, I've been a, a homeowner for some time now, and I don't enjoy it. I don't like it. I'd rather shit like this be somebody else's problem. But anyway, I signed up for it. It's my problem. But uh, anyway, got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, guys, happy Friday to you. Best of luck to you. And I look forward to seeing you later on today on my website at patreon.com slash rockpage.